The big story, no end in sight. Right now it's day eight of the GM strike and there are concerns on both sides of the fight over the impact as talks drag on. The ripple effect of that strike will likely cause suppliers to start cutting production. Dealers will soon have less inventory on lots and workers are about to feel the impact. That $250 per week strike strike pay kicks in this week. Seven Actions reporter Jim Kurtzer is live in Warren and shows us what's at stake for the company and the workers. Jim. We can confirm that the contract talks are continuing, but there is a major major issue both sides are trying to deal with and that's workers who are on a lower wage scale some 20,000 workers that's about 40 percent of the people out here on the picket line UAW vice president for the General Motors division Terry Dittus telling his team behind the scenes this is serious listen Terry Dittus uh, was saying that um, we're done with temps it's bad that we have you know three year, four year, five year temps. That means people hired after the GM bankruptcy can be making about 15 bucks an hour or half that of a traditional seniority worker doing the same job. The union has said from the start of these contract talks with the handshake back in July, GM is making record profits and now is the time to pay the workers who saved the company with bankruptcy concessions. Union bricklayers delivered this inflated fat cat holding a money bag and an auto worker by the neck at the Detroit Hamtramck plant. The strike is now into week number two. It seems to me that it's going to be longer. Uh, I can't put a number on how long it will be. Both sides clearly have dug in. Some analysts on Wall Street are saying GM stands to lose $75 million a day in the strike. But Cox automotive analyst Michelle Krebs says GM also prepared for a long strike. It's going to be more difficult to uh, make up that production the longer it goes. And and they went into the strike with plenty of inventory. I'll be out as long as they tell me I need to be. We're playing politics with the job. Why? Let's go to work. Now, this is a four-year contract. Both sides are negotiating, so it's important for both sides into the future. Coming up next hour at 6, these workers not getting a paycheck for their second week. They are supposed to get 250 bucks a week in union strike pay, but that doesn't kick in right away. How does that work? Those answers when we see you at six. Live in Warren, Jim Kurtzman, 7 Action News. All right, Jim, thank you.